How to use Keeper Security for Beginners. Hi guys, in this video, I'll be telling you what Keeper Security is and how to start using its services. Well, a password manager is a service that stores all of your usernames and passwords and Keeper Security is one of them. It's super secure and it has a very simple platform and the Keeper system isn't just for your laptop or desktop, it's for all of your devices, whether they're running Mac OS, Windows, Linux, iOS or Android, plus Keeper offers browser extensions for Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, and Opera. So there are tons, there are three plans you can choose from for business, for MSP, or for personal. So just go ahead and create an account for personal use right here. So there's no other way around it. You should make an account starting by inputting your email right here. So you should go ahead and input your email manually. So let's go ahead and click sign up for free. All right. And once you've done that, it will ask you to create a master password. Well, basically your master password will be your first layer of protection, but you can actually add a second layer via OTP or Google Authenticator. So this is how their platform looks like. And you can actually import your existing password right away from different platforms like Dashlane or from the browsers that you use. And uh, you can go ahead and do it right now once you set things up, or you can go ahead and just skip it and then do it for later. And uh, when, when you use Keeper, one of the first things you'll notice is that no matter the platform, the design and feature of the application are the same across operating systems. And you're first presented with your vault right here, which displays all the different accounts you have saved. And the passwords are hidden on this screen. The left sidebar gives you easy access to your profile, a security audit, bridge watch, and deleted items. So you can create a new record, you can create a new folder, you can uh, add in any details that you want. You can also create notes right here, secure notes. So let me just go ahead and try to create a folder right here. And I made a folder called socials. Now this folder will contain all the social logins that we will use or that I currently use. So you can actually choose to change the color of this folder pretty neat so that you'll know you're actually accessing the right folder because you, you know that you have set this certain color for, for that folder. And uh, Keeper also makes it super easy to import passwords that might be saved with the browser in a document or from other service. You can do this once you start setting up just like uh, what's so uh, been presented. At the, at the first part of this uh, tutorial, when we first made our accounts, you can choose to import them already. So now let's try and create a new record right here. But you can also create folders, shared folders, or a payment card. It's really up to you what you want to create first. But for this one, let's go ahead and create or add in a new record under socials. So let's go ahead and go for Facebook right here and then add in our login details. So let me just go ahead and type in my email right here. And after that, of course, you should type in the password that you currently use on that website or that platform. So let me just go ahead and type it in. Well, uh, it actually lets you randomize your new password using this button right here. So it's really up to you if you want to use a randomized password. You can choose if it contains letters from A to Z or are they just a combination of numbers or are they just a combination of special characters. But usually passwords should have at least three of them or at least two. So you can just go ahead and click what you want to include in your password. Or you can choose not to generate a new one. Just go ahead and um, input your original password just for a record. And you can also add a custom field right here if you want to. You can add files or photos of your password or add a two-factor code. Well, this adds a second layer of protection to your account. I think this is pretty neat. Some of the password managers doesn't offer this for free. So you can go ahead and add that if you want to. Now, let's go ahead and click Save. And after that, you can see this uh, a particular pop-up window and it actually asks you to install their extension to your browser. So let's go ahead and install on Chrome. And once it's done installing, you can actually easily access their services. You can actually easily 
fill up forms or fill up, yeah, fill up your password, your information. So it will be like an easy login for you. But you can only, you can only do this using your device across all your devices, your laptop, your phone. So let's go ahead and check if it's wor if it's already working on Facebook. So let me just go ahead and log out my account right here. There you go. And uh, yeah, you can now see that Keeper is actually asking you if you want to autofill the details. So let me just go ahead and click that. And I think this will work pretty fine. Let me just go ahead and click yes, continue. And as you can see guys, it's totally working. And yeah, but it's up to you if you want to add you add an extension or not. Now you can also add more folders aside from socials. So let's go ahead and try to add in finances. So you can go ahead and click, click create right there. And you can also transfer. Yeah, you can also transfer or move existing um, information or existing records to the folders that you created. So as you can see, I already moved my Facebook login details under socials. So you can actually see the shared folders right here. Shared folders usually contain the information that you shared or the information that are shared with you. You can also add in your card information right here. So you put in your card title right there, your card number, and expiration month, expiration year, security code, and all sorts of all sort of information that your card has. And the security audit basically is a um, it, it evaluates your password health. So all password managers has this feature. So it's, it evaluates if your password is already at risk or there is a chance that it might be at risk. So you can see here also your password strength. And then BridgeWatch, oh uh, yeah, this is basically how BridgeWatch works. So you can see here you use passwords, your weak passwords as well, you can see here. And then, uh, yeah, basically it for the Bridge watch, and then once you click that, you can scan all of the platforms that you have saved here, and it will automatically scan which is at risk. So it found one, so it will show you this alert that you need to secure your account right away by, uh, yeah, by logging in and changing your password or by generating a strong password with uh, this app. So right here is. Uh, yeah, where you upgrade your plan. That's where you upgrade your plan. So basically, this is Keeper Security. Well, I don't think that it's much different compared to other uh, password managers out there. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. That's it, you guys.